morning, happy Monday. So my usual breakfast sandwich with my usual, usual protein coffee. This is cold brew with some of the salted caramel for snacks, bringing a yogurt and then some clementines, a banana, and then some of my protein vegetable dip that I made. You can see that in milk up along with some carrots and cucumbers. And this, you guys, I discovered this on Saturday. Oh my gosh, so good, zero calories. This pineapple passion fruit, oh my goodness, so good. Highly, highly recommend that. Morning guys, happy Monday. I am running a little bit late today because I did do both my bike and a workout this morning and I did it before I got ready, which I kind of figured it would, I probably should have did my hair last night. I washed my hair yesterday morning and then I just didn't do anything with it. I just threw it up and just let it air dry all day. I probably should have straightened it last night before I went to bed and then this morning it would have been so bad. It's usually just the first time afterwards that it took so long. <coughs> But I ended up only doing about 10 minutes of the ab workout. My back this weekend was just really hurting me, but I, I just need to push myself through. I'm feeling very discouraged with myself right now. Um, I feel like I've given myself way too much grace. And I know they say, give yourself grace, but I think there's a certain point where I think now I need to push myself. And so I did make a plan where it's actually my paper that says the plan. So I made this and I have on there um, my workouts for Monday through Friday. So my bike first thing and then doing either abs, cardio, arms, you know, that kind of thing. So I have all that spelled out on there, which ones I want to do. So today was abs, but again, because my back, I just didn't really push through, but I did 15 minutes and then I did 20 minutes on my bike which is my goal. Um, so other than that, and I kind of have a little thing like, okay, at 5.30, start my bike, by like 5.50, start my workout, and then, but make sure I'm like done and able to get ready by like 6.15, 6.20, that I can start like putting my makeup on and get, you know, all that. So I think one of the things I need to do for sure is also make sure that I have my, you know, what I'm gonna wear and everything, so I don't have to worry about that, so. I'm just, like I said, I feel like I'm at the point where I need to really push myself. It is a yucky, rainy day. Um, it's supposed to be like this today, and then I think the rest of the week's supposed to be pretty nice. So, anyhow, just wanted to catch up with you, um, but I better get on to work, and I'll chat with you guys at lunchtime. For lunch today, I'm going to have one of the teriyaki rice bowls that I made in meal prep. So check out my meal prep video that I posted on Monday to see how I made this. For dinner tonight, I'm having the grilled chicken that I meal prepped and I'm using these skillet green bean, like garlic butter green beans. These are really good. Um, just as good as the green giant ones. And then I have a side Caesar salad. Um, this is the um, chicken that I marinated in the mesquite, McCormick mesquite marinade. Look how red that gets. It is so good. And these green beans were really good. Like I said, green giant has a similar brand. Um, and I think I like these ones a little bit better. Good morning. Don't mind my microwave and my air fryer. I'm making my breakfast sandwich. I'm doing to myself, I'm making myself up a little dirty chai coffee. So I have some vanilla bean syrup in there. I need to get some caramel syrup. I didn't realize I don't have any. And my favorite caramel syrup, which is I was going to add to this, is almost out. So I'm making a skinny syrup recipe. I mean, skinny syrup order today. Um, so anyway, so the vanilla bean, I'm going to use this chai, which I know it already has caffeine in it, but I want to make myself like a dirty chai, which to make yourself a dirty chai, you just add in coffee. So I have two shots of espresso here. This only has 15 grams of protein, which is a little bit light compared to how many calories, because it is 170 calories, but oh well. I want to try a little drink of this without the coffee. Oh, that's good. Mm. I love chai. It is one of my favorite things, usually in the fall, but I think it's good anytime. And the vanilla just adds just a little bit more, kind of makes it more, you know, um, a coffee shop taste. So, get that up well. so, this would have been good with caramel. One of my favorite things from a chai drink from um, Dutch Brothers is their white chocolate chai. Oh my gosh, so good. Mm, that is really good. So there we go. I'm gonna make myself a little chopped salad out of the teriyaki chicken burgers that I made. 
Um, so check out my meal prep. You can see how I made these. I'm going to heat one of these up. This is some of that pineapple salad that I made um, with the roasted pineapple. So I'm going to add this, some of this to it. I'm going to do some romaine. I'm going to use some of the Newman's own sesame ginger and then some wonton strips and throw some onion in there. I think that'll be a nice little salad. Here is my chopped salad. <clears throat> Does not look good, you guys. Oh my goodness. Um, that ch salad chopper, the one I showed last week, it works even better with romaine. It just really chops it up. And I'll tell you, this may sound weird, but the best way to eat some of these chopped salads if they're chopped up really finely is with a spoon. I know it sounds weird, but sometimes it's a little bit hard to eat it with a fork because it's chopped up so little pieces, but cannot wait to dig into this. Hey guys, so I know a very short lunch today. I really wanted to do a porch chat, but I um, did not leave work until 1230 because I was in a little meeting with my boss. And then I forgot that I have to give a skills test at 1.15. So um, it's one o'clock now. So I'm heading back that way because there's a lot of traffic out there today. So anyway, it is so beautiful. It is 60 degrees, but it feels so much warmer. Um, so anywho, um, I didn't show you my breakfast sandwich this morning because it's the same old thing. I will tell you what though, I did not start getting hungry until I got home. So about really about 1245. And so those things keep me so full. I did have a banana with it this morning. So I feel like when I pair it with banana and the breakfast sandwich, I am not wanting to eat lunch until about one o'clock. I cannot believe how full it makes me. And just that combination um, is just amazing. So I do have some snacks there at work. Oh, I did eat a couple of mandarin oranges. I've been loving those like little cutie things. Forgot I did eat two of those, but it was more because I wanted something sweet and they have been so, so, so sweet, so good. So I did eat two of those. I do have a yogurt, a turkey pepperoni stick, and a cheese stick and I have my birthday cake quest bar so I have all of these things but just between drinking my water and um oh I wanted to give you an update on that I don't think I said anything yesterday those pineapple passion fruit aha drinks so good oh my goodness they are so good I could not believe how good they are so I have been drinking those I am having right now though a Pepsi Zero Sugar. Um, I actually have not been drinking much diet soda since I've been trying to drink my 120 ounces of water. I've been doing really good. Um, update on workout. I did my 20 minutes on my bike this morning and then today were um, was my biceps. That was what I did. So I did a 10 minute bicep and I felt it. Like I completely <laughs> felt it. It was... Yeah, it was one I've done before, but man, today for some reason, I really felt it because I did abs yesterday. So the last time I did arms was um, Sunday. I did some arms, but it wasn't, it wasn't biceps. It was like chest and back, but yeah, I did not drink my recovery drink though this morning and I did not take my burn either. Um, why is like Siri's listening to me and like typing out everything I say? So I don't know what I was doing. Um, I didn't take that, but I've been still having pretty good energy today. So um, I think it's just the weather. The weather's really nice. Um, but yeah, definitely felt my workout. So I feel good. Two for two. This actually I did it Sunday, but I, my plan that I wrote out was for Monday through Sunday. So I've checked off Monday, Tuesday. I don't know if you can see my really, let me, let me see if you can see these remember my lilacs looking this pretty last year look look at the like coloring on those they are just sorry my audio book came on um yeah they have like a little design on there i just don't remember them looking like that last year like so i have white ones that have a little bit of purple probably because they are mixed with the purple but look how pretty those are i really don't think they looked like that last year but maybe they did do you think that's what was causing my allergies to go so crazy last week because those were first just blooming but my allergies have been fine so far the last two days but those are beautiful um my husband was going to tear it down i said no you can't tear down my lilac tree because we're clearing out everything down that side which is mostly like little tiny to watch my clock okay little tiny itty bitty like roses and i'm not as big fan of the little roses but i love my big roses that are in front my husband hates them because he has to cut them out every year you know to, you know um, prune them down every year 
but I don't like the little tiny ones and so there's a bunch of them down here and then there's um, peonies which I love those but they're so short living they have super bad ants so I hate bringing them in the house and um, they don't like they just flop over so I don't know they're so pretty like I love them but I just don't know if we want to deal with them we did plant a rhododendron last year and it's looking pretty good. We ended up hiring a lawn service. We were so lucky to get um, the price that we did. So my husband, you know, with his, all of his um, medical issues right now, it's just was way too hard for him to do the lawn. And um, so we called around, actually I went on Facebook, posted a thing in the Facebook group, and we found a guy who just started his business and he's only gonna charge us $45 a week to come and do our lawn each week. And that's weed eating, spraying for weeds, um, mowing it, doing any edging, and all of that. So yeah, he came out Monday, last Monday for the first time and did the full like, so he charged us $60 to do like just the get it ready because it was just so out of control. And then, and he did all the weeds around the, the driveway, around in the little like ditch in front of us. And then he's gonna come every Thursday and do, just do upkeep on it. And I mean, that may sound like a lot to some people, but to me, that just sounds like really reasonable. And then this way I can concentrate on my flowers because last year was really hard for my husband too, to do the lawn. And so I was doing it, which I kind of enjoyed it, but we have so many dips and stuff in our lawn that I was hurting my knee. I kept stepping down and re-hurting my knee. And so um, it's just gonna be nice that I can concentrate on my flowers. So we're gonna go get some barrels and stuff this next weekend and um, replace the barrels out front because they're falling apart and then just get some flowers and then I can just concentrate on flowers and we wanna put some different flowers down the side of the house. So anyway, that's the plan. So um, that catches you up on pretty much everything that from this last week and <laughs> this last weekend. So I better get to work so I can give my skills test. For dinner tonight, I'm gonna to have some of these lightly roasted chicken breast chunks and then this Lean Cuisine Vermont White Cheddar and then a cup of this Thai chili mango chopped salad kit. Just was feeling something like comfort food. Plus, I really like these chicken. So here's what it looks like. I am going to dip it, my chicken, in this Bolt House Ranch. But here we go, here is dinner. Good morning, happy Wednesday actually been a really good week at work it hasn't been that busy or anything it's been very weird I thought that I was gonna like jinx myself by saying that but it's just my my necklace is all tangled I, I spent way too much time trying to get it untangled and then now I'm running behind so I had literally had to rush around the house did not get a chance to go grab the garbage can a lot of housework to do this weekend for sure with my husband's schedule change now, now that he has Saturday and Sunday off, he's just like wanting to do things. And I said, you have to remember, I was used to having Sunday, the house to myself, and I was able to just get things done, not having to entertain you or, you know, having to stop and, you know, think about what to eat because I just grab and go, you know, on those days. I just kind of just grab things that I'm meal prepping and things like that. but. It's just been, so my house is really, is a mess and I need to get it cleaned. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of stuff at lunchtime. I know I need to clean the cat box and grab the garbage can and um, those kind of things. I did put a little laundry in, but man, oh, it's really tangled. I hate this, it's because I, just toss them on my bathroom counter and then somehow when I wear like more than one necklace at a time I just toss them and I swear just them sitting there they managed to somehow like how I don't know I don't know how they how they do that okay well I'll work on that when I get to work <laughs> so I have my usual breakfast sandwich I have my coffee this is uh, the last of my syrup I keep forgetting to order that syrup I have got to do that I'm gonna do that when I get to work I think I'm gonna write down a note for myself so that way on my break I can I can do that order. And then, um, yeah, because I'm almost out of that syrup. Anyways, normal breakfast sandwich instead, but instead of a banana, I brought an apple today. And then I have my normal coffee. Um, yeah, so 
anyway, I'm gonna head off to work and I will see you guys at lunchtime. Have ourselves a little snack. It's about 11.30, so almost, almost lunchtime. Just now starting to feel hungry. Guys, so I just thought I'd have a short little porch chat. It's gonna be very short because I have to get back to work. Um, I'm not hungry at all. So I think I'm just gonna take my teriyaki rice bowl um, for lunch today. I don't really, I kind of feel like a salad, but honestly don't feel like making it because uh, I just want to relax and soak in the sunshine because I'm holed up, you know, at work all day long with no windows. And so I just want to soak in the sunshine and I think I'll have a salad for dinner. I think this weather just makes me really want to have salads, um, but I'll just have that rice bowl for lunch. Um, so you guys already saw that the other day. Um, but I'm really full. I'm not hungry at all. That it's just crazy how full that that breakfast sandwich keeps me. I didn't even have. I'd had that cheese stick and the pepperoni stick that I showed you. It's the only thing I had, and then um, my breakfast sandwich and then my coffee. That was it. And I'm just not hungry, so I'll just take that and I can heat it up whenever I get hungry. But yeah, just feeling really good. I've actually am down four pounds this week so far. I really think my, and that's actually since Friday, since last Friday. Um, I do think that my commitment this week, my attitude this week has been really good. Like I said, I give myself way too much grace. So this week I'm pushing myself and I feel like it's really working. I was, I stepped on the scale today. I thought, okay, this is a good judge, you know, since last Friday, it's kind of not quite midweek because obviously Friday is the last day that I weigh in. So for five days in, right? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, so after five days. Um, so it's like 4.2, 4.8, 4 pounds down this week. Um, but I have been going up and down all month, actually the last like five weeks. So this is actually getting me back down to where I was when I was losing steadily. But I think it's all in my attitude and all in my mood, the weather, um, pushing myself with the workouts. Today, I did not get my workout in, but I'm going to do it after I get off work today. After Probably after dinner, um, I'll go ahead and do my bike and do one of my arm workouts that are kind of short. Um, I just, I had a lot of stuff I was trying to get done this morning and I just ran out of time. I just don't even know where my morning went, to be honest. Um, so, anywho, got my chores done that I was going to do at lunchtime. So I guess now I'm going to go ahead and sign off and I will see you guys at dinner and I'll probably record tomorrow. I am working from home tomorrow, so I'll probably go ahead and record and do a four days in this video instead of three because I don't think I've been too chatty in this video, so it should not be too long. Um, so anyhow, hope you guys are all having a wonderful week. For lunch today, I'm going to have one of the teriyaki, teriyaki rice bowls that I made in meal prep. So check out my meal prep video that I posted on Monday to see how I made this. For dinner, I'm gonna make a chicken chopped salad. So I have some avocado, some chicken. I'm gonna put some croutons on top. I have some tomatoes, a little bit of cheese, some romaine, and here's what it looks like after I chopped it up with my chopper. I'm gonna use some of this honey mustard dressing, which I am loving. I think this would be really good with the chicken chunks. I wish I would've thought of it yesterday, but here is my dinner. Hey guys, so it is Friday. I'm closing up this week's vlog. I tried to vlog yesterday but work was so busy and it was just one thing after another and i barely broke for lunch and then worked over a little bit excuse me started a little bit early it was just it was just one of those days i could not break to do any filming but i did take pictures of all my food so i will pop all those up here i did um have myself a little coffee um and all of that so anyway i also wanted to let you know that i did weigh in this morning that's another thing i'm don't have the time lately to film my weigh-in videos the only day that i have to do that is sunday which is i wouldn't be able to get it up till monday which is when my meal prep goes up so i'm just kind of lost in like when to do those updates with you i've, I've just got to try to set aside some time friday mornings um, to do it, but it's just too hard when I'm trying to get my workouts in, trying to do my morning routine, you know, and run my house, and then have to go to work at 7.30 in the morning. So it's just hard for me to have the time to sit down and do these weigh-in videos. So anyway, um, I may, I may, I can probably film them maybe Saturday afternoons and get them up Saturday afternoon. I don't know, but I just wanted to let you guys know, I, um, I think I kind of updated you early in the week what it looked like on Wednesday, but today's Friday, my actual weigh-in day. So I'm actually down 3.2, yeah, 
yes, the 3.2 this week. So yay. I think all of my, you know, just pushing myself through getting the workouts in, but we'll see what happens. Um, I, I'm trying to be as positive as I can, but just the fluctuations have been insane. Like this 3.8 doesn't even bring me down to where I was at like the end of like March, you know? So it's, it's very frustrating. This whole like up and down has been so frustrating. So I'm actually kind of looking forward to a setting an appointment with my doctor in June so I can kind of talk to him about this stuff and see if there is anything going on, see if he'll do some sort of hormone testing or I don't know. I have no idea. See what he thinks. So um, cause it is getting to be just super frustrating, but I'm just going to keep going. I mean, I know I'm eating a really good, I'm just watching, you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, getting too many calories in. I'm watching my protein. I'm getting my workouts in. So I feel like as long as I'm doing stuff that's good for my body, then I just, you know, just try not to get discouraged by the scale. Um, so that's what I'm, that's what I'm working on <laughs> right now. Um, but I am happy with the success this week and hopefully we can just keep it going, you know, throughout the week. This weekend, Sunday, we are doing a, um, having everybody over to do, um, the grill and stuff. So I'll, I'll be a little, I'll probably indulge a little bit on Sunday. Um, we're going to the races tonight, so I don't need to worry about that. I'll just eat before we go and then tomorrow night we'll go out to dinner, but it should just be like a normal day throughout the day and then just dinner. So hopefully I'll start my week off on Monday without too much of a gain from any kind of weekend activity, but it is going to be kind of a, a busy weekend. So um, anyway, you guys all have a fabulous weekend for all you mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day this weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.